Hello aspirants. Quick question. Do you think preparing for GRE verbal is more difficult than preparing for GRE quants? Well, since you clicked on this video, I think you do. To secure a 320 plus GRE score, a good GRE verbal becomes necessary. When I say GRE verbal, you might be thinking I'm talking about long passages or SC and TC questions. But the problem might be more elemental than you think. Here's a small RC passage. You can pause the video and take a look. If you're stopping and wondering about certain words, you might need to work on your vocabulary and spend some time with GRE words. Knowing GRE words is important. They will help you take the RCs down faster and solve GRE verbal problems without any hiccups. So what's the best way to learn GRE words? There are many methods that can help you learn GRE words. If you search online, you will get dozens of blogs on GRE vocabulary preparation, GRE words tips and tricks, and GRE words easy learning, etc, etc. Do not get overwhelmed. Pick one or two methods that you feel will work for you and stick to them. One of the methods is to maintain your own GRE word book. Learning GRE words is not a one day process. It will be increasingly difficult to try and master new and complicated words in a short period of time. Instead of making GRE words a chore that you have to do, start reading newspapers and editorials. Do it regularly and instead of skipping hard words, identify them, note them down in your notebook and jot down their meanings as well. This will help you understand how these words are used in context and also improve your retention. Reading is a foolproof way to learn new words and you cannot go wrong with it. Reading articles on different topics will also help you skim through the GRE RCs later. Speaking of fast techniques, learn high-frequency GRE words. A certain set of words repeatedly make an appearance on the GRE. Search for them online and you will get tons of high-frequency word lists. The word lists from Barron's, Kaplan and Manhattan are popular among aspirants. While these words have a high probability to peek out of your RC, SC or TC questions, a high-frequency list is not a definitive answer to all your GRE word problems. That brings us to the next method, flashcards. Learning GRE words through flashcards is pretty straightforward. Just note down the word on one side of the card and its meaning and usage on the other side. You can supplement this with an image if you have time. Why use flashcards? One, they are easy to make. You can also buy ready-made GRE word list flashcards online. Two, they are really convenient for professionals and aspirants who want to learn words but are low on time. It can be hard to carry a big book everywhere you go, but a stack of cards can go anywhere. Take out 10 to 15 minutes of your schedule and go through the cards every day. Word of caution though, flashcards should always be a supplementary material for revising or learning new words. It's also very easy to get carried away while making the flashcards but toss them out later. You can also try learning Latin roots of words. Have a look at the words on the screen. Can you try and guess their meaning? While all of these words have different meanings, they all come from a single Latin root, which in this case is loqui. Loqui means to speak, and as you can imagine, all of these words in one way or another are related to speaking. Knowing the roots can help you get reliable hints about the meaning of the word, which might be just enough help that you need to understand a sentence or paragraph. A big advantage of knowing the root is that you can understand a variety of different words coming from that one single root. However, sometimes this method can be deceptive. For example, sedentary and sedulous. At first glance, it might seem like they share the same root, but that's not the case. Sedentary comes from the Latin word sedere, which means to sit, and is used to describe something which is not active or involves a lot of sitting. While sedulous comes from si and dulus, which means without guile or deceit. Sedulous can be used for someone who is diligent in application or pursuit. So these were some methods you can employ to learn GRE words. But remember, to be a sedulous learner, you must make sure that you do not commit these common mistakes. Mistake number one, being impatient. As discussed before, improving your GRE vocabulary is like a long-term project. So do not keep it for the final phase of your preparation. Read as much as you can so that you can discover new words and commit them to memory. Mistake number two, rote learning or cramming. Learning a series of different words and meanings like a mantra will not help you in GRE at all. Since there will be a pressure of clicking time, you will not have the luxury to sit and ponder the meaning of every word in a tough RC. Mistake number three, panicking. 
It is not possible to learn every single word in the English language and you really don't have to. Sometimes you can guess the meaning of the word by logically thinking about the sentence or paragraph. Use the method of elimination where you can eliminate the wrong choices and make an educated guess. There is no negative marking after all. Make sure you attempt all of the questions. To get a feel of the GRE, you can also try a short 20 minute mock test. It's linked in the description for your reference. Well, that is it then for this video. Do let us know if you found the content helpful in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends who want to get over the hurdle of GRE words. Make sure to drop your queries in the comment section. Our experts will get back to you. Before you go, take a moment and check out our channel for more valuable information. Our Yorkit Connect series, where Yorkit aspirants who made it share their success stories, experiences, and tips. Many expert interviews and live streams outlining the nitty gritties of everything study abroad. Next video dropping soon. Till then, stay tuned. Good luck, aspirants.